Through work-based learning, your students can engage in a variety of career exploration activities with the chosen employer partner. Opportunities can include career fairs, apprenticeships, externships, industry tours, internships, job shadowing, and many more. Each student's experience will be individually unique depending on their skills. Some students will be introduced to possible career pathways at an exposure level. More advanced students will be in a career training mode where they'll be actively pursuing skills in the business partner's industry. A lot of these kids haven't been put into positions where they've really had to be relied on in a professional setting, so getting them to that place is a huge part we look at how inquisitive are they because you're, you're dealing with a whole spectrum of the student knowledge base you might say you can tell the ones that pick it up really really quick it is up to you for the benefit of both the students and employer partner to communicate to the employer what level your students are at we had a really great pre-covid situation where our students were actually going out and working with the usda and doing filming for different irrigation systems. I knew that I could have my advanced kids actually go out in the field and capture the video and talk one-on-one -on -one with the people that they were with. But my kids that weren't as advanced were kind of back doing the script work and the transcribing and small edits, maybe finding the music backgrounds and stuff that we added to those pieces. So how do you integrate work-based learning into your classroom and get into a project-based learning attitude? Well, you can start by asking yourself these types of questions. What activities are relevant to my students? How can I offer students maximum choices without overwhelming myself as an educator? What activities allow for students to investigate, report findings, give feedback, and participate in presentation style assessments? We actually sat down and we looked at the workplace employability standards and then my film and TV standards and we went over which ones were the most important and which ones my students were actually having issues with when it came to state testing. And we said, okay, this is where I need help, this is where he needed help, and then we came up with, I want to say, the top seven, and that was our goal for it. Anything when it comes to doing interviews, resume work, all of that kind of stuff is great in the classroom. Doing Zoom calls with different organizations. We tried to do interviews, and we brought in the drama class. And we actually gave the drama class, like, pretend you're this person, we're gonna ask you this, these questions. It started off really good, but the kids soon didn't know enough information, and so it kind of flopped then once we got into asking questions of the employer and things like that because we didn't give them enough background information. Remember, you know your students best, which makes you as their teacher an integral asset for their work-based learning experience.